Hey, today I think we want to talk about why we should buy real estate in Long Pan. I just call it Long Pan, so I don't want to think too much. But it is the capital of、um, Cambodia, and I'm really putting all my real estate resources to sell these houses. That's because I believe in it. You know, it's not just about the money. It's about the return. Uh, what I get from it, the gratification of return. Okay, so so I'm Mike from Catbox Property, and now I want to talk about the city. Why this is really really good. Okay, so first of all, you have to understand that the history of this. I don't want to explain way too much. It's just they had a king, and then the military state appeared, and then. It, Turned to a massacre and all that really fiasco. A lot of people died. It was really horrific hell on earth for a little bit. And then when the military state kind of, you know, subsided, and then the king came back from China. So the king was in exile、um, in China for a long time. So the king is extremely with good relationship with China. So. One thing that you cannot deny about the Chinese is they have had their、um, growth, economic growth, and the political stability as well. So you cannot deny that. So the most important thing about any type of investment, it's about the stability of financially and political stability. And right now, you know, Cambodia they got that, but specifically, Phnom Penh I think is is a pretty good choice because it's a capital, it's a cultural capital, and they have just started to grow. So, how big is this city? It's not very big at all, and、um, it's around two million people. So that's small compared to a lot of Chinese cities that are over fifteen, ten million people, and that's small. And I, I'm not going to go into too deep about their cultural, what type of like stuff they have, because it's gonna gonna be pretty small compared to a lot of the Chinese、um, cities, because it's it's only two million people, and then the, they have a they have a、um, they do have a palace, but the palace is a lot smaller than the Chinese one. So I'm not gonna expand way too much about it because the attraction, overall speaking, it, there's some, but you know, I don't think it's a、like, boom, you know, compared to these huge, huge like、um, countries or empire at one point, maybe in in in, in、um, Rome or something like that. So it's, it's nothing like that. So basically, they're same type of people, not exactly with Thai people, but they're similar to them in 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 some ways. They at one point they were the Angkor, they are the same Angkor people, so they 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 were culturally the same, but obviously there's a split between them, and now they're their own people.、Um, their language is a little bit different,、um, and.、Um, The attitudes of people is slightly a little bit more straightforward than Thai people, but they are、um, they're still nice, you know. They're still very upright, and there's no real discrimination against foreign races, including Chinese, you know. So, well, not that I know of, you know. There's no massacre or anything like that, and none of that, you know, and.、Um, So, let's talk about where you can invest. First of all, it's best to actually invest in apartment because foreigners are able to buy apartments, you know, like four, four fifth level or above.、Um, so we could actually buy these apartments, you know, like because we they don't really want us to buy the houses. We can, but it has to go through like a like a company or something like that. It's a set up company, and.、Um, I'm not gonna recommend nor 
disapprove of that because there are a lot. I know a lot of people that does it, um, but you gotta go through that. So that's just a disclaimer. So basically, the city center, um, we call it CBD. So city center is in um, BKK, so which is like a small area around the um, around the palace. And then that's where they have a lot of these uh, commercials and um, like clubs, and then also like they have some, uh, you know, one one casino there, only one. Okay, so which is really good because they never become like five, six, seven, eight, nine casinos. It's not going to become Las Vegas. They just keep it just one, and that's it. You know, and it's really good. Um, for for I think the the local people there, um, it's never going to go out of control and disputes over um, different casinos. And um, so okay, in short, I'm here for the money, Mike. Let's talk about money. What am I gonna making? What what should I be looking out for? Stuff like that. Well, definitely you should buy something that's near the BKK area and not too that far away, because. Um, that's where people are going to be investing. Of course, there are people that are investing outside of it. So I think if you're a real professional, really smart about what you're doing, then you could invest in other areas of land and things like that and give that a try. But I think like if you just want one house and you want to try it out first, you're not going to lose if you actually invest near the BKK area. Okay, so why am I so pro Cambodia slash like Phnom Penh is because of the fact that you're really getting a very high yielding. You know, we talk about like eight uh, percent per year um, in housing appreciation and also like on on the the rental as well. So which is pretty damn good. So for example, if you actually rent uh, it out for a year, you probably get around like let's say if you put a hundred thousand dollars in getting eight thousand dollars back out and on top of that um so the hundred thousand dollars home go up in either eight percent or twelve percent so it could be for all the way from six percent to twelve percent so you're really doubling the money so it, in 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 the books really you probably have made like a hundred sixteen thousand dollars you know what i'm saying so when you come to think about it that's that's a lot of freaking money um and you're not gonna get that here in Hong Kong. They, these the money just like flies away as soon as like you invested it. Okay, so you know it's it's just basic math. It's, and um, you're gonna be asking me, are they gonna be using their own currency? Is it gonna be, you know, um, that's the, the, the currency is gonna depreciate? No, man, they use USD. So whatever. Um, Money that you have right now is either renminbi or whatever. It's gonna be has to convert it to, to to USD, and then your um, house worth is gonna be calculated in USD because they do USD as the official transaction. Um, um, the tender of the money. So basically, they only use USD about anything about one dollar. They use USD dollars, US dollars, and. Um, the good thing about it is that it is really um, you're not gonna lose value devaluation from an Asian currency because a lot of Asian currency they do lose value, but this one doesn't. Let's say imagine if you actually made like twenty percent in um, in a house in Philippines, right? But every once in a while, the Philippine Filipino currency they do depreciate. So if you made twenty percent. And then depreciate it like 10%, then you really just make 10%. So it's in a way, it's really sad. I mean, it could it could be like you just make, um, it's you know, it's just it's just like it decreases value if you, you you go against your own currency. So this does not happen. But the bad part is, what is the bad part? To borrow money from the Cambodian banks, because then it will be really expensive. You know, to borrow money because they do lack USD, so they want you to put money in 
So if you actually put money in, your interest rate of savings is really high. Maybe like uh, five, six, seven, eight percent, easy, right? But you know, if you get lending, they're lending you. It's like the same thing. It's like five, six, seven, eight percent. You know, so um, it's going to be high compared to like Hong Kong or uh, you know other developed like Asian countries. So that's it. You know, I mean, there's pretty straightforward. There isn't a whole lot of like, um, you know, difficult things to it. You just have to show up with your money, with your passport, and there we go. And if you have actually a lot of cash, let's say for example in uh, RMB, in, in back in China, I mean there are a lot of really easy ways, including a lot of developers. They, you could just pay the developers if they're Chinese developers. They have the accounts. Just pay it like into the Chinese banking accounts, and then you fly over there, and you have a house, man. That's it. As simple as that. It's becoming too easy, too simple, and a lot of people are really missing out these opportunities. And why do you still want to buy like one more house in Hong Kong when you're getting like one point nine percent in return? I mean, quite honestly, with all these. Um, fees and annual fees and stuff like that. I mean, you're not making anything at all. You're just waiting for that appreciation. So why do I have to wait for that appreciation when, you know, Plum Pan is a much better choice. So uh, up to you to think, think about. All right, see you guys. Talk to you later, man. Please contact me, like when if you actually want to buy a place over there, because I screen out all the good uh, properties. Give you the best ones out there. If I cannot find that, my friends will find it. Alright, see you guys.